What's happened, Tactical Panda? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought this H16 Wave from Olight. It is a hands-free wave technology, uh, rechargeable, variable output, dual LED headlamp. And right there you can see Olight on top. I will tell you that I have never, you know, and cross my finger, knock on wood, uh, been disappointed with my Olight products. They are just always top i mean they're literally second to none and that's why i always feel comfortable ordering from them now i've never had an olight headlamp i don't know that i know that they've made them and so super excited to see these because i love headlamps i love flashlights you see a lot of lights out here because i love them now i will say about flashlights is that you still have to hold them and so i've kind of fallen in love with headlamps because of how unbelievably you know useful they are and this is uh, gonna be a quick unboxing. This is gonna be micro USB rechargeable, comes with a very long micro USB case here, or cable. And then we also have the H16 Wave uh, instruction manual, which I am probably gonna have to spend some time with before we get into the second part of this review. But I just thought we would take a quick look at it. So, man, um, I'll tell you, it's small and it's light and much more so than I kind of expected. So I think we have uh, this part, this little sink here, this heat sink is metal. And then this part, this housing is part, and this part here is plastic. This is like a little rubber silicone. Oh man, all right. So that's the button to turn the sucker on. And as you can see, and it's, that is bright. Uh, I think this thing is like five or six hundred lumens, and there we go. I'm kind of reducing the the brightness right there, but man, still, still pretty bright. Um, super impressed with this thing right out of the gate, as I am in a lot of Olight products. And you can see here we have uh, two LEDs. Look like they're the same, but two different lens covers. So we have a little textured lens cover here, and then we have a you know just a reflector and I will show you that there's no flat like lens on top of it you know I can put my finger in down in both of these but these are coverings over the LED element but they're definitely two different textures so you kind of get more of a bright light and then I think this one will be a little more diffused all right and then you do have a little couple little ears here on the corner and that'll help get you to the right angle so you do have some pretty nice adjustability and some really distinct clicks in there. Then this piece, curved, would be on your forehead. This is a polymer or plastic, a, a stretchable Olight headband. Looks like it goes all the way around. And then we have a cord going from the headlamp unit uh, with extendability there to what is the power pack, clearly. Curved piece here should be really comfortable on the head. And then Olight power pack and I'm just trying to see how it looks like maybe this will tell us charge level so it looks like it's fully charged right out of the gate and then here is the micro USB port I mean everything is super tight on this there is nothing about this plastic that feels chintzy you can get some of the cheaper headlamps and you know in pictures they look fine but they just don't feel very robust you can feel that this case is packed with I'm assuming a lithium-ion battery and uh, we'll probably find out what the capacity is on it, but oh, it says right here. Oh, it's a 2000 milliamp hour battery, and I can feel it. It's got some weight to it, not like heavy, but it just feels like there's a lot of intention in the way it's designed. The battery and the plastic kind of molded right around it, so it's really space efficient, small, slim, and yet dense. And then, even the cover here, I just like how it's thought out, so it's not one that's tethered right next to here and makes it so hard to get the plug into the micro usb port it kind of has a pull away there so you get plenty of access to it um, and then it's really a nice tight fit when you push back in there and even this button right here which just feels like silicone is just soft but it feels relatively thick so i hate to gush about it because it i feel like you know <laughs> like a a schoolboy falling in love for the very first time but man all the products are just really great and so I think what we need to do is test this and because it's got a full charge uh, why don't we just go outside and do that and I will say that I think it's just a matter of clicking it to the brightest middle 
lowest, and then off. And I think the three modes here are on high, 500 to 350 lumens, medium, 100 lumens, and low, five lumens. 500 lumens, and it'll run for five minutes at that level. If we go down at 350 lumens, it's 120 minutes. 100 lumens, it's nine and a half hours, and at five lumens, 160 hours. And I was not on the right levels there as I was doing that. But now to understand why it's called the wave, because it has motion detection, uh, the, what you want to do is you want to turn on the light and then you want to hold this button down until the light flashes. And now I think we're in wave mode. Look at that. On, off, on, off. So pretty cool. You don't need to hit the button. And it looks like the little blue light is on basically. And I don't know where the sensor is for this thing, but man, works just like that. Pretty cool. And so I'm guessing when it's on, if you pick a light mode, let's say we go down to the lowest mode here, five lumens, whatever mode you're picking, it's just gonna toggle that mode on and off. So now I'm in the low mode and obviously it's toggling that on and off. So, all right, pretty cool. Now we know how to work it manually. We also know how to work it with the wave and stick out in the dark and see how this thing works. All right, guys, outside and you can see the little blue button glowing here, indicating that it's in hand wave mode. It's also kind of nice because if I am out and about using it, you know, with other people, you can see me because you can't really see me now, but you can still see the little blue light. So let me just do a wave. It's really cold out here. But man, you can see it working. So, so useful. I love that. I, I love motion activated headlamps just because you don't have to fumble looking for a button on or anything. So let's see what kind of light this puts out. All right, so I'm going to show you here on the low end, this thing is uh, producing quite a bit of light. You know, more than enough to do a little hiking, a little navigating through a camp, uh, even walking down a path. Now, I wouldn't bike or move it at a great speed with it, but even, you know, 10 feet out, I'm getting pretty decent illumination just despite what's probably showing up on the camera. And I'm just going to actually take the light off of the weight motion mode and start scrolling through the level. So here is the bright level. And yikes man that is friggin bright huh um and and the cool thing about it is i think that lens that really diffuses the light you know i don't see like one of those distinct center patterns really like the spotlights that you do on you know a number of the flashlights that i'll bring out here um, i'm getting a really nice diffused pattern and it's kind of lighting up everything and, and in a really wide way i don't know if you can see the trees out there but the trees which normally i light up with a spotlight pattern um are well illuminated you know if there was an animal or something out there i could see it right now and so this is the, the high level and then if i go lower those trees are still illuminated i can still see them out there but even 20 30 feet out is very very usable so i would definitely use this for at, like at this level for biking and then like i said back down to the lowest mode and this is really good for just kind of walking around and navigating so man and then off but geez oh Pete's, that is awesome awesome for a little headlamp and i will tell you what this is smaller than some of those other cheaper headlamps that i've shown you in the past but far more powerful feels far better built and man the hand motion detection just makes it wicked awesome so check it out i'll put a link to it in the description but man oh light just always killing it i love it peter Ron panda with the wave out.